Neat, welcome back to another video. Okay then, I'm doing another bass test with a mini amp with my speakers, SS BX2s. Last time I got that right, and wrong, last te last take I messed up my speech and started and all that, and I messed up. But I'm doing another bass test, and it's the, this one. I, I already did this for my, I already did this for my dozens over there, I forgot the name of them. But if you watch my videos, you're probably thinking, hey, I already did this song on these. But yeah, at one point of the video, you could it, the screen was black and you could just easily see my reflection in my face. I did not want that. I didn't catch that first time I looked over it. So I deleted it, and I'm doing part two tests for anybody for anybody in the future who subscribes who wants to see, just or anybody in general. So about that working, just need yeah. max volume. There, next volume, turn my amp on, oh, it's, and for anybody who watches my videos who wants to get a mini amp like this for any big speakers or anything, I would recommend it, because it's good build quality, good, great sound quality, it's actually really good, sounds, um, sounds like just as good as a Pioneer over there that I haven't used for a jillion years, but some something bad about it is that it doesn't come with a power supply, so make sure you have a power supply, at least 5 amps. Which is kind of expensive, doesn't really matter. But anyways, I'm going to do the test now. Just need to turn it on, get everything up to what it should be, and get the volume up. So, hope you enjoy. And one thing is that I'm going to be turning this up a lot, so it may actually get a little more excursion than the other ones over there, which should get more excursion, be softer, and bigger voice coil, and also so I know a bigger voice coil, but just softer spider. Sorry. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and please, please consider subscribing. Sorry, forgot the word for a second. Hope. Thanks for watching.